this is the first job that this device is making some money. Hello. So today we have this uh, Lenovo to repair. It's an IdeaPad 330 and charger is original, is good. Problem is that notebook is dead. As you can see, no light. And I let it uh, like this, a uh, charging even one hour or maybe more. So uh, first I um, take out the battery connector. Maybe it's an um, uh, frozen BIOS situation. But I think uh, it's also a power jack problem because uh, jack is kind of loose. So on the battery we have 0.1 volts. So that's a problem. Let's see if uh, we have uh, some voltage on coil. Wow. Nada. This is battery. Okay, let's see if we have voltage on jack here. Yes, we have voltage here. So we have to take out the main board. I think the first uh, MOSFET are uh, in, uh, beneath the main board. So let's take out. Ah, okay, bias battery is here. Ah. So let's take out bias battery and press now the power button. Okay, and now let's wait. Let's put black back this uh, memory. And uh, let's see. Oh no, still nothing. So we have to take out the main board. And uh, don't have MOSFET in here. You see? These are some uh, transistors for uh, HDMI. So I think all the MOSFETs are I think this is uh, for CPU. I think they're all in here. We'll have to check. So, I solder uh, two wire on the power jack. Set at uh, 20 volts and uh, 20 volts. Uh, I limit the current. And if I plug in, just, just nothing. Uh, first, it take out exactly uh, 10 or the 20 milliamps, and that's it. And um, I measure. Let's take out the battery, the power. I measure. So first MOSFET is this, yes. And this is second MOSFET. So on the first MOSFET, on gate we have uh, less than one volt. So of course it's not uh, open up. So after this one, here we have short. Let me show you. So we are uh, on uh, off meter mode. So, on the source of the first MOSFET, it's okay. Uh, beneath the first and second MOSFET, it's okay. But after second MOSFETs, is short. Okay? And uh, let's uh, check the voltage. So, on the first MOSFET, 
we have uh, voltage from um, uh, from power source and after first MOSFET yeah and on the gate we have of course it's not open so let's uh, inject some uh, current after second MOSFET and let's see how much is drawing now I put on the um, I put short on the um, uh, GND so uh, raise to one amp okay now I move at the exit of the second MOSFET and we have short okay of course but to, to be easier and uh, to check for the first time let's use thermal camera I put voltage after second MOSFET and I don't see let's raise the current 1.6 amp so see we have uh, something um, heating up in there so I think it's a cup let's see so we have two big cups in here and then three so is the third cup so it has to be this one from here let's see so now I'll try to take out it's very difficult there are a lot of uh, tiny electronical pieces around but we'll see so I take out the cup now on the out of the second uh, MOSFET we don't have short anymore awesome okay it's powering on you see we have light in here and we have uh, we where have 300 okay now it's on again you see so that was the problem I'll stop because uh, I want to put everything back okay so finally I put uh, all back together I changed the thermal paste all clean so plug in the battery So we have charging light. So this is charging light. Uh, let's see what uh, voltage we have on battery because it was uh, dead, empty. So we have eight volts, and this is yeah, it's DOI S, uh, eight point four volts. 804 so let's wait till uh, rise okay perfect so now we can uh, power on so it's powering, powering on and now it's power off because I again uh, take out the BIOS battery
on again. And now we have Lenovo and Windows is loading. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm very pleased. So, this is the first job that this device it's worth it's making some money okay so very pleased okay thanks a lot for watching bye